Hey everyone, so in today's video I am doing something very exciting. These videos are one of my favorite ones to film and I'm going to be doing a summer Q&A. So while I go, I asked you all to ask me some questions and you guys did, which I'm very happy about. So thank you so, so, so much if you happen to leave a question. And also make sure you check out AG Dell Attitude's video because this is a collab with her. It's a summer collab and she is doing some summer DIY crafts. So go check that out in the description box below and subscribe to her because she's awesome. So let's get started. Endless AG asked, what is your favorite outfit to dress your doll in in the summertime? And actually it happens to be the overall that Molly is currently wearing. I bought these around like two months ago or something and now every time that I dress one of my dolls this outfit is always on one of them so yeah definitely one of my favorites. Magic Dollies asked if you could live with any 10 AG IGers or AG tubers who would they be? I'll just say like five because like 10 is like way too many for me. Maybe I would go with AG Lovey Sparkles because, you know, she's really fun and happy, so if I was, you know, living with them, then at least that would, then she would keep everything really nice and fun. AG Smiles because she's one of my favorite YouTubers, Mixie Pixie 7 American Girl Star because she's, like, one of my best friends. Darling Dollies because I love to know how she makes such good stop motions. AG Love 24 7 asked a ton and ton of questions, so I'm going to answer maybe, like, three of them. Green or Red Apples, definitely green because I like it when it's sour. Blonde hair dolls or brunettes? To be honest I kind of prefer brown hair because I think that they're a little bit more photogenic because it adds kind of contrast to their face. Who is your most recent subscriber? I'll put the name right here. Gummy Bear Unicorn Studios asked if you could meet any AG tuber who would it be and why? I'm gonna go with um, AG Smiles just because, as I said earlier, she's one of my really favorite YouTubers. Beauty and Vlogs asked, "What are, what are your opinions on Truly Me 26?" Sorry, about that. I'm not a hundred percent sure which doll um, it is. I believe that it is this one, if you can see that. But I think she's very beautiful. I love her hair. I think it's like kind of, I really love that hair. I never purchased a doll with hair like that before just because I feel like honestly for me, I'm not the best at taking care of my doll's hair. So honestly, I feel like I would like make her hair like the frizziest afro like in like a day tops. So yeah, besides that, I think she's very beautiful. I love her hair. I think that's my favorite thing about her. AG Crazy asked if you had to turn one of your girl dolls into a boy, who would you choose and why? Um, I think I'd have to go with like Molly because honestly, I know I'm not trying to be like insulting to my dolls or anything. She's very adorable, like I love her braids and stuff, but honestly I feel like she would be easiest because she already has like bangs. So then if I just like chopped off the braids, then <laughs> um, she could look like a boy. So yeah, probably her. Lovely Studios AG asked, are you planning on getting another doll? Um, probably um, not at the moment I don't really I'm not planning on getting Leah just cuz to be honest I'm not a huge fan of her I don't she's not like a doll that really stands out to me so I don't think I'm gonna be getting her right now at the moment I'm currently debating whether I should get Mary Ellen AG forever Maddie asked if you could bring back one girl of the year which one would it be and um, probably Kanani because I love her collection and I think she's very cute. And while I do a back to school series, yes, I'm doing a back to school series. The next few videos of mine are not going to be back to school, but um, I have one planned, so look forward to that. Sarah McGrory, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, uh, asked, do you recommend Sage and why? 100% um, recommend her. Unfortunately, she is retired, but like if you can find her for a good price on eBay or whatever, then I definitely recommend her. As you can tell, if you just like look at my channel, then you'll see that she's in the thumbnails of so many of my videos because I love her so much because she's so photogenic because of her hair and her eyes. Aloha Dollies asked, what are your favorite Etsy shops? Um, to be honest, I don't shop on Etsy too much just because I find that it's overpriced. I really like Buzz and Bee, which I, I'm sure that a ton of people know about her because she's very popular. The Glam Dolls, I love their um, skater dresses. I think that they're very adorable. I also really like So Cute Forever. I think she makes really nice clothes. So yeah, those are like my three favorite. Mac AG03 asked, what do you use to film and edit photos and videos? So to film, I use the Canon 60D. And I really recommend this camera. It's really nice. It's very easy to use. Um, to edit, I use iMovie. And then for my photos, I use Visco Cam. So 
Yep. AG Flowers asked, what is your dream vacation? Um, probably like... New York because first of all I'm the type that really likes going shopping and um, they have the like a really humongous American Girl store that would be awesome. What's your favorite show and movie um, on Netflix? I really like Glee and Switched Up Birth. I really like those shows on Netflix. Um, AG Milo I think, sorry. Um, which girl do you use personalized most like yours? Definitely Grace because I really like baking so. Peace Love and AG Dolls asked, how did you get into AG Dolls? Um, mainly through Barbies. I started with Barbies and then moved on to AG. How did you find out about AGTube? Well, originally I think I searched up how to make an American Girl doll bed and then I found the video by, I'm not sure if it's like DR Joes or something like that. And then from then on I really love watching AGTube, so. Margster, Margster, I'm not too sure about that. 1228 asked, when did you start getting into AG? I think around six, seven years ago. Bad Motion Dollies asked, what fruit gets you ready for summer? Um, when I was younger, I used to really love mango, but I kind of ate too much of that and I don't like it anymore now, so I think it would have to be pineapple. And what weather do you think is perfect for summer? I personally like the sun, but with clouds, because honestly, I feel like if it's just sun, then I'm like hot and cranky and sweaty and disgusting, so yeah, definitely like sunny with clouds and not like too 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 hot. Oreo Dollies, first of all, I love your username, asked which doll would you bring from the archives? Um, I think it would have to be Elizabeth because, like for historical, because I loved her, I love her hair and her eyes and I've been trying to find a cheap Elizabeth on eBay but I just can't, it's like $300 and I'm like, no way Jose, so yeah. Amanda Price asks, what's your favorite My American Girl? Really love, I think it's, I think she's my G number 33, and I, because I love her hair, and I would like it if she had, like, green eyes. That would be, like, my dream doll. Goo Girls asked, who was your first doll? Uh, my G number 16, who I named Natalie. Ruby1 asked, what do you use to edit your videos? iMovie. AG Lovely Studios asked, how long have you been collecting dolls, non-AG and AG? So, um, if you count non-AG, probably, like, I have to say, I believe like eight years, seven years, because I started with Barbies, as you know, and I played with Barbies for like a year, then moved on to American Girls, so probably around seven years. Simply Caitlin808 asked, What was your first AG and who inspired you to start collecting? So, my first AG was Mighty Number 16, and to inspire me, uh, it wasn't necessarily like a person, like a channel, it was just the, it was just like the, fun of making videos because I really liked talking about my opinion on camera. In fact, I, re I started making videos on my iPad and I still have those videos on my iPad that I did not post and they're really embarrassing but I have those videos and I really wanted to make videos so I just started with that. Top Dolls asks, what future cultures would you like to see included in American Girl Dolls? Um, honestly, I really want to see more like Asian dolls like Chinese because I believe that I Ivy was the only one I think having a Japanese doll would be very cute like and if it was like a girl of the year because in like the collection It could be like, you know, sushi and all those cute things like that. So maybe like Japanese I cute pops asked what inspired you to make AG videos. Honestly, it's not like a what like what inspired me was my love of filming So yeah, I guess <laughs> Kaylee McLeod asked how many dolls do you have? I have seven dolls AG Dancing Dollies asked favorite series on AGTube to be honest, I don't really watch any AGTube series. The only series I really ever watched was AG Smiles. Um, what's it called again? I completely even forgot what it was called. Oh, Aspen Heights. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Aspen Heights. I watched Aspen Heights, and that was pretty much it. I only, I don't really watch AGTube series, so I don't really have a favorite. Um, what's your favorite non-AGTuber? To be honest, I really like those, you know, popular like people like you know Alicia Marie those types of videos I really like um, people's vlogs I really like Janine Amapola she's probably one of my favorites I also like baby Ariel who was like musically but then she made YouTube accounts AG bubbles forever asked favorite doll you don't own um, I have a lot <laughs> I'm gonna name a few of them Kanani um, Kanani Elizabeth I really want McKenna right now uh, Mary Ellen and truly me number 33. This is the last question. AG Love XOXO11 asked, Do you like Starbucks? 
to be honest, I'm being honest here, I think that it's overpriced for Chevelle Wash. I know a lot of people think, but it is kind of overpriced for a small drink. Like, for example, like the tall drink, it's like three bucks, which is not really worth it. Um, the drinks, to be honest, there was a drink that I liked last year in the summer, which was the Passion Tea Pineapple. I love that drink so much, but then they took it away. So now, to be honest, I don't really like Starbucks that much because there's no drink that I really like from there. So that's kind of sad but i do really like their birthday cake pop that's one of my favorite snacks but anyways that's it for this q and i really hope you liked me answering all your questions and if you want to be notified the next time i ask you guys to do a q a which will probably be around like christmas time i think because i usually do it like in holiday season areas so you know let me know if you want me to do more q a's but you can be notified the next time i ask you to do a q a by subscribing to my channel and you can give this video a thumbs up if you really like q a's because i really like filming them and once again make sure you go watch ag Del attitudes video as i said there's a link in the description box so go check that out and if you want to comment any more questions you have down below i can always reply to them so thank you so so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye